All right, so 24 to 70 lens, CPL, well, ND CPL, and we have a cute driver. What's going on, baby? You say a cute driver or a cute driver? Cute. <laughs> Shut up, drive. Stop, drive. So let's go ahead, let's drop my shutter speed down to one over 25, F-stop, let's do four, and then ISO, let's drop it down to 250. Let's go ahead and make sure my drive mode is set to continuous, high plus. All right, in order to catch up to that C8, we gotta put this baby on sport mode. All right, you're good. I am for real. Never meant to make it up. Okay. Shut up. I, uh... Um, I'm gonna have to be on this far side, all the way back here. What? Yeah, because we're gonna be driving down. Yeah, go, hurry up. <sighs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> see you turn can you not text and drive bro watch out Quincy uh, thank you bro catch okay. you later yes, thank sir. you so look taking cool photos of the car is neat and all that but what really sells a photo is the editing process let's go ahead and jump to that right now so we are now in the editing process let's go ahead and dig right in but before that I gotta mention, there's actually three simple steps I'm gonna break this down by, ready? So one is looking for the preset, number two, applying that preset, and number three, doing any small tweaks. And we're gonna go through that right now. So I went ahead and kind of beat you guys to it before I started recording, and I found the preset that actually works. And it is called Arctic Orange 4, and you can go ahead and get this exact preset from our Valve Auto website. It's in the description down below and you can also use our coupon code I love Velvado for 10% off and yes ladies and gentlemen these are are our preset packs that was almost a tongue, tw tongue, tw tongue twister so when you buy these presets not only are you supporting my chick-fil-a addiction but you're also getting presets in return that can help you accelerate and be way more efficient when it comes to editing and the car photography scene. All right, let's go ahead and edit this photo. So Arctic Orange 4, I'm gonna go ahead and select on this. And right off the bat, the car is way too dark. Everything just looks dark. So I'm gonna bring up exposure to about closer to one. And then I'm gonna increase shadows to 65. So already I'm increasing the exposure, I'm increasing the shadows, why? Because I wanna see more of the car and kinda of everything around it. It just looked way too dark. Now I'm gonna go ahead and separate the subject from the background. And to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and select this icon, press select subject. I'm allowing Lightroom to go ahead and find the subject, highlight it, and then I can go ahead and also tweak it on my end to make sure it's only highlighting the subject and nothing else. And in this case, if you zoom in, it got the billboard behind it and some of the trees. So we're gonna go ahead and we need to subtract that. To do that, we click on where it literally says subtract and brush. I'm gonna just use my mouse pad to go ahead and erase with the program selected. Now it's time to separate the subject from the background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press O to remove the overlay that the program showing me. And I'm gonna start to go ahead and, and start my thing. Increase exposure to about six, five. Well, 0.65 to be exact. If you do 6.5, then you get something crazy like this on the screen, 0.65. And then we're gonna increase shadows to another 25. Now, because the car looks a little more brighter than it would naturally look like in a setting like this, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the overall exposure to 0.75. And I also wanna make sure that clarity is also being displayed. So I'm gonna increase that from zero to 25. And then going through the color panels and everything else, it, it looks fine, but what we could do is sharpen our subject. To do that, here in the detail panel where it says zero, I'm gonna increase this to 40, and then I'm gonna hold down my option key on my MacBook, and I'm gonna slide this masking tool all the way to the right to where I can just barely see our subject being outlined. And right about here is nice. So there we go, now we just sharpened our subject, but now scrolling through everything else, other than check marking this box, it looks like everything is fine. Now let's go ahead and crop this for the Instagram post. So I'm gonna click R for my shortcut for crop, click on original, select four by five, and then just kind of eyeball right in the middle for this subject. And this is how the first shot looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and press command C and we're gonna move it on to our next shot. So let's go ahead, press command V, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. Separate our subject from the background. Select this icon, select subject, 
Ooh, we got some of the poles and stuff. We're gonna have to go ahead and subtract again. Click this icon, select with brush, zoom in, and let's erase these uh, unwanted subjects. So now that we're done, let's go ahead and increase our exposure to 0.85, and then our shadows to 10. And then we're gonna go ahead and select this icon, press original, and four by five, that way it's cropped for Instagram. And then we're just gonna go ahead and get that sizing right down towards the middle. So it's, you know, following the rule of thirds. I hope. And here's one of the rear shots we took, right? I'm gonna go ahead and paste it, and hopefully Lightroom can find out where this subject's at. And not really, it did half of that. We're gonna go ahead, select add, press brush, and we're gonna draw in where the rest of the body of the car is at. So now that we have our subject fully filled, let's go ahead and increase our exposure. Ooh, we're at the twos. What about shadows? Let's do 10. Not bad, now we can slightly increase exposure, drop down highlights before and after. Okay, this is actually pretty neat. If you learned something valuable, make sure you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, because why would you want to learn more about car photography, right? If you want access to these automotive presets, click the link down below and use our coupon code I love Velvado for an extra 10% off on top of the discounts already there on the website. And yeah, you'll find some pretty cool stuff. Overall, I hope you guys all have a great week or weekend, whatever time you're watching this. Stay safe, wash your hands, brush your teeth, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys all next video. Take care.